worries and anxieties never supplies our needs. Worries and anxieties never supply our needs. Worries and anxiety never give us what we are looking for. What it does is to add to the problem. Worries and anxiety add to problems. They never supply the needs of a man. Praise Mother Jesus. We are, we are encouraged not to worry over things. We are encouraged not to have anxieties over things. For the Bible says the Lord is in charge. The Bible makes us understand in Matthew chapter 6 from verse 25 to 32. It says, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor your, your, yet for your body, what you shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowl of the air, for the so not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barn, yet your heavenly Father feed them. Are yet not much are you not much better than them? Are we not much better than them? Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his status? Praise Mother Jesus. It says, take no thought of what you will eat, what you will drink, or what you will wear, or what you will do. Say, the Lord thy God is able to supply you everything. Say, look at the best in the sky. God that make you in his own image is the one that make them in their own, the way they are. But yet, he does not take his eyes from them. He takes care of them. What about you? Would he take care of you? Say, which of you and I, for upon all the worlds and all, can solve that problem? Can add to your status? Can add to your hair? When your hair is getting white, even though you are using all the chemical or to dye it, it will surely become what it is. Your worry cannot do what you are looking for. Worries never supply your needs. Anxiety never supply your needs. All they do is to add our problem. It will, it will even give us sickness upon the upon the, the things we say we are looking for. They never worries never help us. Hallelujah. Worries never bring solution. Worries never solve problem. What solve them is to sit down and say, God, what do I do? Say so which of you taking thoughts can add one cubit onto the status? And why take your take ye thought for that limit? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Praise Mother Jesus. The God that supplied for them is able to supply for us. Say, wherefore I say, if God so cluttered the grass of the fields, which today is is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven. Shall he not much more clothe you, or you, O ye of little faith? What does it is It's a big word. Just add faith. Talk to God in faith. Speak in faith. Move in faith. Act in faith. And everything will be well. Where worries is working, faith can never work there. Where anxiety is working, faith can never act there. Say, oh ye of little faith, instead of us to be worrying, let us act in faith. Let us move in faith. Let us say, Lord, by this, by this, by this, by this, I know all I'm looking for is supplied. Let us pray in faith, not in worry. Any prayer we pray in worry can never be answered. The Lord will see us praying in faith, not praying in worriness, not praying in grumbling, not praying in anxiety, but praying in faith. O ye of little faith, say, therefore take no thought, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or where, whether shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of them. 
our Heavenly Father knows that we need all these things. And He has programmed a day for them to come like rain. Hallelujah. Oh, we need to go. Father, show me that day. When, Father, I want to know your plan for me. Everything we are crying for today, the Lord has programmed a day that it will come as a rain. All the things we are making big, 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 big before. When they shall come, even, we will not have power again to even be happy about, about them. But all, we have used all our power to worry over them. We use all our strength to worry out over them. When it's not happen, to even say, Father, thank you, the strength will, not, will be gone. Praise to Jesus. But this does not mean that we, not, we should not ask God for it. If he's saying, take no thought of what you eat, or don't think of what you eat, it does not mean that you should not ask God for it. It does not mean that you should not talk about it. It does not mean that you should not work for it. But don't worry yourself after it. Don't, don't kill yourself for them. Don't make them number one in your, in your list. Praise Mr. Jesus. That's what I'm saying. After this manner, praise ye, Matthew 6, 7. The Lord knows we, we can pray over them. Instead of pray in worriness, pray in faith. We can work for them. Because he that does not work must not eat. He that will not feed his family is worse than what I need to do. But don't worry about them. Don't make yourself don't make yourself walk, walk down for walk up for them. Don't die because of all these things. Say after this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which ye are it, which are in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give all these days our daily bread. Even Christ said he knew that we need daily bread. Give all these days our daily bread. So if he says don't uh, take no thought of what you eat, or if you not say just for your hand, I can close your mouth. I don't, no. All he's saying we should not worry ourselves over there. Our Lord is able to supply. Let us go to him in faith, not in grumbling, not in anxiety. Say, give all this day. It's a, it's a straight word. It's a faith word, a faith prayer. Give all this day our daily bread. Father, it's another day again. I know you are able to supply. Supply for me today again. Hey, hey, Father, yesterday I did not eat. Two days ago I did not eat. And I don't even know the kind of life I'm living now. The life is, I'm able to tell myself, what am I even living for? That is grumbling praying. God does not answer grumbling. He does not answer anxiety. He answers faith prayer. He answers the prayer of faith. He said, the prayer of faith shall, he it has very much. He has fervent prayer of the saints. has very much. Not grumbling. Not anxiety. Give all these days our daily bread. It is a straight prayer. You know your God. It is the King of kings, the Lord of Lords. is able to supply. Whenever we are grumbling, we are praying to the devil. Whenever we are, we are, we are living, I know the nature of man is a nature that, that, that is, is proud of grumbling. Sometimes we can be pushed to do so. No matter how we think, no matter how we try to, but the nature does not allow faith to work. The nature will always work against the will of God. The nature of man is a nature that will always act against faith. Our nature will allow faith to work for us. Praise Mr. Jesus. But thank God the Spirit helps our infirmities. The Spirit, it, 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 by with groaning, always know what to pray about. Whenever our nature is pushed to the side of complaining, our spirit will say, no, don't complain, act. Give us this day our daily bread. The Lord is ready to supply our daily bread. The sufficient is the problem of today. Let tomorrow settle itself. The Lord will surely supply your day. The day I understand this, I say, God, you are wonderful. As far as God is able to supply your daily bread and put you not into temptation, I tell you, your life is settled. Tomorrow, it will take care of you for you. Next one, we take a few. It will make sure it settle your bill, it settle my bill, it settle all our cares. If only we can act with faith. Our God is, 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 a, is a God of faith. Let there be light, and there was light. 
let there be farmers, let, uh, let there be fishes in the sky, in the, in the river. Let it, it was let, let, let. That God is our God of let there be. Our God never grumbled. When God saw that there was darkness everywhere, He never grumbled. He never grumbled over, over the darkness. Right? Hey, oh, see what our Creator do. What is this darkness doing now? Oh, what do I do now? No, He saw there was darkness. He said, let there be light. There was a day I was not having anything. I can't remember what I wanted to do that time. And the Spirit referred me to that place. I said, hey, this is it. I said, in this situation, let there be light. I don't know how money came about. That same day, everything. I, got, I acted with faith that day. I summoned all my faith. And I pushed the faith forward as trailer. Any power that wanted to hold on to the children, it, that, it felt crushing that, those things down. And the Lord will speak. That was what I wanted to do, to, to do, my, to do my password or something. Can't remember. But I was owing somebody 500 euros that, that for, the password, for the password money. The person would not try to start molesting. But I, I still thank her anyway. It still touched me. The God, what is this? And I have said, let there be light in this situation. All I need now is not a man. All I need now is somebody. All I need is light. When light comes, darkness by me. You Satan, I know you are an agent of darkness. Get out of this house now. Let there be light. And I tell you, there was light. She was surprised. I paid the money instantly. And the money she, she used to send to me, I paid it. She was surprised. And today, whatever that want to humiliate you, light have come into it now, and that thing will be humiliated in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever the devil is waiting to humiliate me and you, to make sure that we now start running up enter scatter. Today, the Lord have crushed them because light have come to shine them in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, but God shall supply all your needs. According to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus, he will supply all our needs. This week is our week of divine supplying. The Lord will supply all my needs, all your needs, and all our needs in the name of Jesus Christ. But let us act in faith, not in fear, not in trembling, not in anxiety, not in worries. All those things do not make it happen. Rather, it makes it what was. Praise Master Jesus. When I was in Lagos, I lived for I lived with live by worry and wait for almost two years. So the essay I almost have heart attack. As soon as I am. And the more I was worried, the more the situation was getting tighter and tighter. I would be doing dry fasting, three days dry fasting in fear, in worries, in grumbling. Things we are getting tighter. Anything I do, boom, I get here, boom. But the day I decided, oh, it's, it's enough. I've decided I cannot help myself anymore. My strength has failed me. My run up has failed me. I, my, I know everywhere in Lagos, back everywhere. Try to, try to make sure that things come out. But it never. Pass my prayer, never. But when I said to that, Lord, it is you now. Things that I was not for that for. When I wanted to go and get Abuja, I was given tickets. I was not flying plane from within, within, within Nigeria there. Coming to Europe for, for class. Things, it moved smoothly and gently for me. For what I used two years to scatter Lagos for. The Lord did it simple, so simple. Anxiety never give anything. Worries never, it, it only adds to problems. It made the devil to change us before God. I said, You see, your son don't trust you. Your daughter don't trust you. What do you say, um, uh, uh, Holy Master? You say we should, they should pray with faith, but this one now is praying with, with, with grumbling. Is this one not praying with faith? Is this one praying with <laughs> faith? No. He's praying with grumbling. So, Master, I don't think this one, you don't need it. Praise Mother Jesus. Say the Lord shall supply your needs. Supply my needs, supply our needs. According to his riches. He's a very rich God. 
is is the owner of riches. He's not only a rich God, he's the owner of riches. He has the power to supply whatever we are looking for. If only we can act as his children. If only we can act with faith, not in fear, not in trembling, not in grumbling. Not remembering him, hey, hey, Father, we are working for you, and this and that. Hey, I, 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 I. No! Give us these days our daily bread. For I am your child. You are my supplier. I have no other faith to run to. Father, you are the one. So, supply me. I know this week you are going to supply me. I know you will not. In some sort of grumbling, let us tell you, remind you what you can do. Lord, I know you are able. I know you are more than able. If you, call, if you don't do it, nobody else will do it. Lord, I trust you. I know by so time, so time you are able to do it. Not put yourself into danger. But then, because of what you are passing through, we believe in ourselves to put ourselves into sin we never commit. Add this sin to our sin. Then it go, put this, tell it, pray, we think we are praying to God, we are telling the devil we are, we are sin, we are doing this, we are doing that. When God, God, God has cleaned us, we have washed our sins away for so long. We have given give the devil clue to hold on to us. Give the devil the, 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 the key to hold on to us. No! It was that let us be praising God in advance. God, we know you can do it. God, we know you can supply. God, we know you are a perfect God. God, Jesus, I know your righteousness will make me righteous. So, Satan, you have nothing to hold on to me. All things are passing away in my life. Lord, I know you are able to supply. I know this situation is gone already. I know I'm, jo- I, I'm only counting the day to, to, to say, Father, thank you for the total supplying. I know you have done it for me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I know it is well with me. I know, I know you have done it. I know this car is bought. I know this house is bought. I know my children are well. And let us praise him in advance. And he will supply. Our God is a God. When you lift him up, he can never allow him to be brought down. So for us, to, uh, for us to use one hour to start praying, God, if it's this, if it's that, if it's that, and we are giving clues to the devil. Praise Father Jesus. Amen. This week, the Lord is supplying all our needs in the name of Jesus Christ. And devil, we have nothing to use against us this week in the name of Jesus Christ. So be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. It's not with grumbling, not with anxiety, not with complaining, no, not with remedying what you have done for him. What we have, what have we done? Not remedying how I, how we serve him. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, no. Be be careful for nothing, but with, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. given. Thank him for those things he has not done. Remember what he has done before. You forget what you have not what you have what you have not done. Remember of what you have done, and tell him that what you have not you have done it already. As we have raised him, I'm also talking to myself. As we have raised him up, he will never allow himself to come down again. But as you have as you have raised him, Satan is listening. He's watching you. Satan is watching. And that's when we say, okay, we shall see. And we we'll say, ah. For my son, my daughter to have raised me up like this, I will never allow him to be brought down. I will never allow him to be brought low. He did it for me in my passport. I never complained over it one day. I was only saying, Father, I know you want to give me a red passport. I know you want to give me a red passport. I know you have a better plan for me. I know you have a good plan for me. That's why this, this, this one is delaying. I know soon very soon you will surprise, you will surprise the, the whole world because of me. I know because of me you will make a new law because of me. I was raising him every day. I know. 
instead of this, you are giving me a, 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 a British, a, I mean, a Euro passport. You want to surprise the people because of me. Because of me, really. In what is not happening before, it's starting to happen now. Praise Master Jesus. I raised him up. And it takes me to that level. Now, the writers and all of them that were waiting to say, go to Nigeria and hope they are up there. They are surprised now. They, they are not where now to put trap in me. Praise the Lord. He brought, the, he brought it out. Give me a way to make sure that everything is done. That was the way they were now waiting for me. Going to cut up Adam every day. But throughout the day, almost four or five times they carried themselves to court. The Lord was always there. Because you know, in my closet, I was always raising him up. Any court they carried me to, he will go there for, he will go there for me. When they are saying, and let the judge say that he should go home. The judge will say, plant him more and more. Praise Mr. Jesus. Today now, the Lord has done his work. Why? Because I never let him down in the issue. I let him know he can do more than that. So whatever we are passing through, let us tell God it's more than that situation. What I'm even eyeing is, is, is not even that one anymore. I'm eyeing a higher level. Because we are working towards a higher calling. Every day let us raise, up, raise God up in a higher level. May, let us not subline God to that situation. Let us leave God more than that situation. And you see, it will make that situation to become an unconditional room for us in Jesus' name. Say, cast all your care. We are registered was Philippians 4 verse 6. Say, cast all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Cast your care for him, upon him. Thirty seven five five and seven. Give it to him and keep on doing what you are doing. The Father is all for you. It's not about me. This situation is not about me, Lord. It's all about you. It's all it's not about my children. It's not about my wife. It's about you. Satan is not fighting me, it's fighting you, Lord. And I know you have defeated him right for creation. Thousands of billions of years to come. You will never let yourself down to him. He's a dog. You are the lion of the tribe of the whole universe. You have won this battle already. The battle is yours. It's not mine. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you have fought this battle for me already. I am testifying and I will testify in the congregation of the righteous. You will see, the Lord will spring up like a, like a lion. See, I, my son really knows who I am. My son really knows that I am the president of the whole universe. I am going to act on your behalf. My daughter knew who I am. And I'm asking on, your, on, on, on his behalf. Let us not complain again. Let us not complain again. Or have anxiety again. Start giving them a clue of what you don't even know about us. Start bringing out sin where there's no sin. Start telling the devil, I have and this and that and that. What, what you are doing. For even to even say what you are not, it's a sin, it's a, it's a lie. What you are not doing, say, I, I have done it. It's a lie. It is, it's another sin. It's another sin entirely. I'm, I'm just also knowing know this one now. Lord, I have done this. I have done this. I'm, uh, I'm this. I'm that. I'm that. I'm this. My family is this. My, uh, uh, my, my baby in the womb is this. You are lying. And all liars shall not enter the kingdom of God. For you to start calling yourself a name that you are not, it's even making a make problem to be more for us. Praise Master Jesus. For you to start saying things that you know that it's not you because, because of what you are passing through, you are not saying it concerning yourself that you, are, you know you are not. Lord, I am a fornicator. Lord, I am an adulterer. Lord, I am a killer. What you are not. Because of your problem, because of what you are passing through, you are lying about yourself. Praise the Lord. May the Lord deliver us in the name of Jesus Christ. Every clue we have given the devil to tell us more. Whatever we have told the devil, to you to write and hold us to us. Today, 
all those things have been wiped away in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord will supply all our needs this week. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we cast our care upon him today, the Lord care for us and he has supplied all things for us in the name of Jesus Christ. So therefore, brothers and sisters, let us, worry, let us not worry anymore. I know the nature of man is a, is a, is a worried nature. It's a nature that can never be stable. But let, uh, let our inner man stabilize us. Let us put our trust in the Lord. Pray in faith. Christ pray in faith. Christ does everything in faith. Say, oh ye of little faith. You don't know that your father is the greatest, is the mightiest, is the holiest. Pray in faith. Tell him to supply your daily bread. He will do it. Tell him not to leave it, leave it to temptation. That thing, that thing that the devil do, he, he wants to push into temptation. Say, Father, don't lead me into temptation. Forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those that trespass against us. That is where the key is. As far as you don't have any grudges, as far as you are, you are, you are not planning evil against anybody, the Lord will always surprise you, will always supply you, supply your needs. But it's when your mind is targeting somebody, in your heart, there is somebody you don't want that person to grow, you don't want that person to be, to be because of me, and you pray to God, please make me this, you can never be. Hallelujah. So let us do all we can to make sure that we have good mind for everybody around us. And I tell you, whatever prayer you pray, the Lord will make it to pass peace for you in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord of this morning. The Lord bless this word in Jesus in our hearts. And take away every anxiety from me, worry from me and you. I give all the grace, the wisdom to pray the right prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. God.